Famorip's Pokemon, it's Jordan, and I am back with another, we'll call it Evolving Skies opening. Um, what I've done is compiled a handful of Pokemon product that we've found recently out in the wild that I know has confirmed Evolving Skies packs in it. I'm fine doing this because not only is Evolving Skies alt arts going through the roof right now, pretty much Sword and Shield alt arts in general are. Uh, and if you missed any of our 3K weekend celebration stuff, these hands have been on fire when it comes to alt arts. Um, little bundle to the right. We have finally decided what our May giveaway is going to be. So stick around at the end of the video and see how you can win this entire bundle of confirmed products containing Evolving Skies. Uh, with that said, let's kind of go smallest to biggest product here, starting with the C2210s. Now, 22 should be 100% confirmed that we have a Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies. Now, mixed in at our Walmarts, I don't know if they're intentionally mixed in or not, but the C23s, same tins, the only difference is that's a three. Uh, they do not have Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike. Now, I do want to have a little degen mode, so we'll do all the Evolving Skies at the end. Um, but Fusion Strike, another phenomenal set. Uh, there's a couple more Fusion Strike packs that we're going to get to, so I want to show what we pulled the other day off camera. Um, probably the most surprised I've ever been. Um, ooh, that's not good. Um, probably the most surprised I've ever been I guess recently from pulling a card going, oh, that's cool. And then not realizing it's a top three or four card in the set. Um, so a little spoiler alert there. Now I'm going to open both of these because this is what we're finding at family dollar. We do and have seen the blue and yellow ones sprinkled in at your targets and Walmart and cannot confirm that they always have evolving skies. I can confirm that they have other packs. I just don't remember what they are. Um, I will also say now that I'm opening this, I caught fire yesterday off camera. I opened, I want to say seven of these and these two bad boys came out of them. So believe it or not, there it is. It's all over our discord. The Mew is actually, um, the card I pulled. And for some reason I thought like, oh, cool. Mew VMAX, um, because not the Gengar VMAX in the set but um the gang not the alt art but the regular gengar has a very similar look and i was thinking like oh, okay cool fun i've got a you know probably a nice five six dollar card looked it up and it was like boom seventy dollars raw i think 170 graded um okay so we did take down a serena so our first hit um but fusion strike was early on one of our at least my my favorite set. I know it's got horrible pull rates, um, but I will say this as well: that PSA 10 Gengar we have keeps going up and up and up in price. Um, Dracoff, Ball Toy. Now again, these did come from uh, Family Dollar, so if you are going out there, confirm that it's not just like batching here in the South and Florida. Uh, we have Discord members all over that have found them. Now the next thing I want to go over are these two tins exactly the same. This was part of a Target Black Friday special where you got two of these for 20 bucks. Everyone as assumed they were getting what's in here, two Evolving Skies, a Brilliant, and a Fusion Strike. But here's what's inside of them. I actually already swapped them out because the only card I think right now worth chasing outside of 151 in Scarlet and Violet era is inside of here, and it's hiding in that little form of a Magikarp. Um, speak of the devil, he's getting ready to head off to PSA. But why not see if they, we can find him a little friend? Um, always fun. So remember, no card trick. So going to go through these real kind of quickly here. Um, didn't want to focus on just anything Sword and Scarlet and Violet era. But I have been seeing more and more of these tins, especially since Walmart dropped the price on the one with Evolving Skies to 15 bucks. I've seen more and more of those Target ones for $22.50, for $20, bucks, and um, very disappointed people purchasing them. So uh, if you want a trusted source, we're not super stocked on the sealed stuff, but famripspokemon.com. Uh, or, you know, hit us up on our Discord. Um, our main goal here is to make 
the hobby as collectively affordable to as many people as possible. So hit us up, um, and if it makes sense, we'll figure something out for you. But Bramblegast, Mastiff, Combi, and Hariyama. Um, I do actually remember a lot of people doing Black Friday openings with these. Um, the news spread pretty quick, um, but at the time you really couldn't beat it because I still think price per pack was under like $2.50, but it doesn't matter when you go 0 for 4. So with that said, this is the tin that Walmart had forever. Um, you know it's a Walmart one because I always add the little aftermarket tape to it, but opening this one also because it's smizzashed. Um, but this one, on the other hand, should be a much more appealing set. Yep, so we have Brilliant Stars, another Fusion, and two more Evolving Skies. So again, y'all, I will uh, sh let you know how to enter our May giveaway like we do every month. We do something crazy for our uh, community. Last month, it was an Evolutions ETB. Shout out to Warren uh, and Ellipsis who split that. And believe it or not, we pulled the big bad boy Zard. Um... So that's off to PSA, uh, absolutely insanity. That gets a 10, we're looking over $1,500. But on the note of Charizard, not in that pack, um, but we did have some luck over the weekend. Uh, we did pull the rainbow Charizard for Jason, and we also confirmed another great product that I put a huge buy recommendation on, even at the hang tag price of 40 bucks, um, the heavy hitters boxes. We had an absolute fire show of alt arts over the weekend that came out of those. And, um, you know, before we go into the next product, I'll show those off because we're not getting any way in the way of hits. But, yeah, just from heavy hitters boxes alone, this is everything that we got. I will say there was some, there's Jason's Charizard. Uh, Starmie actually came from our booster box break, so I'll set that one to the side. But we still cannot complain. Um, with that said, moving into, I don't know, it's horrible. I don't know all these Pokemon's name, but these were, there's three of these different colors. Obviously the red, green, and blue. This is another one. Be very careful. Uh, I'm actually whoa, not even a hundred percent sure if this is the evolving skies one. And all right, we are lucky. There was a target still has these, but you've got to check the price to see if it's worth it or not. But Astral, Astral, Brilli, and two Evolving Skies. Not all put in the same way. Hashtag conspiracy theory. Um, so with that said, let's get the Brilliant Stars out of the way. We'll set the Evolving Skies to the side. Um, but yeah, these were, uh, I believe Target did like a one-day trading card sale. You're able to get these for sub-20 bucks, which was just absolutely unheard of. But um, it's not going to matter what we got these cards for. Are these packs for if we don't start to turning them into some hits but all right moving into astral we were lucky enough to pull the dialga starmy and a second machamp we do have one back if you haven't seen our psa reveal videos uh the machamp was in the one that also was with our lugia and gengar v max um i'll let some of our people our, our community members leave in the comments how awesome that reveal was. Uh, it's worth a, worth a watch. Um, Magnemite. Wow, we need to get something going here. Or could we possibly just be saving all the hits for Evolving Skies? Wouldn't be a horrible, horrible way to end. Astral does have some awesome trainer galleries as well. We pulled, uh, I believe it was the Galarian Zapdos from here. Um, again, speaking with the market, the alt arts are going crazy. And if that does keep up, that just means, in my opinion, you're going to start seeing those trainer gallery alt arts do the same. Um, so if you've got them, hang on to them. I'm pulling a lot of them down from our store right now. So if there is a card that you're interested in and you just can't find it or you may not trust the source, again, hit us up on Discord. We have a huge selection. Um... You know, we got to be fair, too. We can't just give stuff away. And sadly, there's a lot of people out there in the community trying to take advantage. But, um, okay, so another little sell, or not selling point, but hitting point here. 
I have included this one with the bundle because I know for a fact it's the same as this one and they came from the same storage stack from us. These are back in Walmart, but Evolving Skies is not in there. It's still on the box. So again, I know there's other videos that have said it. We actually did a video opening it, getting very excited, thinking we had all this Evolving Skies stuff, um, but we didn't. Um, but who knows, maybe there's Silver Tempest batch God Packs in there. This was a white code card. So if we get a hit, do we have batching? That'd be, we got batching God Packs in here too, which would be insanity. Starfisk, Clink, Dratini, Fletchling, Ralts. We do get a drinks, a drinks. Uh, a drinks is kind of like a jinx, but hasn't uh, pounded as much vodka. And uh, I will say with the way the hits are coming today, We'll take a trainer gallery. Evolving Skies stack is getting up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are at eight to open at the end. So we will be in double digits, I think, with the last product. All right. Donfin, Furisa Girl, Golbat, Elgum, Zubat, Solosis, Crobagunk, Beldum, and we have a phenomenal Mawile. All right, so we're starting to heat up a little bit here. I am going to move into one of the last products that we're going to open today. Uh, this is a was a Walmart find, but I have seen these in... Um, let me get it open first. There we go. Um, I have seen... Oh, let's get past this. There we go. Now, I have seen these in Walgreens. They do come with a pretty hefty price tag. I think ours were like 27 28 bucks. Um, not bad, I guess, if you're trying to find Evo Skies just as a chase set, but uh, not the best way to find it today. But with that said, Walmart, they were Brilliant Stars and Fusion Strike. Prior to that, they were Evolving Skies and Brilliant like this one. And there was a run, I want to say right after Christmas, where we were able to snag a good amount of them. So always keep your eyes peeled. And they do, I'll tell you what, the three different Walmarts around us had those C22 and C23 like mixed together. So I'm sure they know that we know um, which ones to buy. But if you didn't, now you do. Clefairy, Cherubi, Sock. I would love a hit from Brilliant Stars. Um, we still need the Rainbow Charizard and a PSA 10 to close out our Charizard collection there. Um, I think Jason and I have a little trade in the works. He pulled it, but we're gonna get it graded first and see what that, what transpires. Um, from the grading, but Ultra Ball, Hitmontop, Magma Basin, Farfetched, Grimer, Sneasel, Badoof, Gibble, Pot Helmet, and a Wordam. All right, so we have our 10 Evolving Skies packs we're getting ready to dive into here. I did bring out our Blastoise PSA 10. Reason I did that is I believe there's 13 entries left into our Paldean evolved booster box break uh buy a pack gets you an entrance pack battle it out uh top value takes home the psa 10 blastoise so i think we have about 13 entries left in that at the time of recording this they're going pretty quick but i uh, don't want to do too much self promo there but i'll make sure that link is uh in the description or a comment but that's no good one for one evolving skies uh with no hits uh, before we do get to the end, I'm a little... I Down at the beginning of the video, I said I'm a okay opening some Evolving Skies based on a hit we pulled. Um, we did pull the Mew V Max, and again, that Umbreon, which is the one... I actually like it better than the big bad boy. Um, I know from a value standpoint, it's nowhere near it. It's about a... I think, a, I think it's a quarter of the value in a PSA 10, but, you know... I like the Umbreon chilling in the alley, looking down on everyone else. It's pretty cool. But let's see if we can add to it here. Uh, Rebombi, Avalug, Ribbon Badge, Emolga, Tentacool, Pumpkaboo, Baggin, Love Disc, Slack King, Jumpliff. Wow. Well, now would be the time to start getting some hits going. Uh, like I was saying before, the alt art prices for Sword and Shield era. Um, I think the main reason why is because outside of, we got a little peakage here, outside of 151, Scarlet and Violet era has been trash. 
Um, I say that very, I can confirm, I don't like it. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm sure the beginning of Sword and Shield era was not as popular. We'll take a jolty on VMAX. Was not as popular, obviously, as the back end, as alt art started to kind of take over um, those sets. So hopefully something's going to happen here with Scarlet and Violet era. Um, but for the time being, as long as Sam's Club keeps pumping out $25 to $30 heavy hitters boxes, uh, I'm completely fine going to Gen on Sword and Shield era sets. Still would love to pull the Giratina. And uh, who knows? Is that? Let's see if that little moon kitty may be hiding here for us today. Not in this pack. But who would have thunk it? The Evolving Skies are the ones that are delivering the hits here. Pack number six. In the back half of the Evolving Skies, we've got two hits. So not, not terrible. 40% out of a small. We got a hit here too. Uh, looks like another VMAX. Switching Cups, Elemental Badge, Slack Off, Bubbebe. Carvana, Mareep, Eevee, eh, Glaceon VMAX. I mean, I'll say of, of the sets we've opened, the VMAX is to hit. I mean, you'd want them out of Evolving Skies, right? Um, wow, hit rates are not terrible. I think we're now into... Would this be the heavy hitters? If not, this would be or the Knockout 10s, Knockout 10s, and the C22. Um, moon badge, which that's exactly what those came from. Family dollar knockout tens that are ten bucks a piece. You're five dollars a pack for an evolving skies and a fusion strike. Um, no way. Could we get lucky enough again? We'll take an alt art, baby. In today's mark, that looks clean. Oh my gosh. Last I checked, I think that's still only raw down in tight around the $20 mark, maybe a little bit lower, but Evolving Skies coming through in the clutch. Uh, much rather pull that as an alt art than, you know, a basic full art or a trainer gallery. Switching Cups, Crustal, Swablu, Flubebe, Roggenrola, Bergmite, Nicket, and a Grandpa Grandpa. And not to mention, I think we just sold that one right before on the store. I said, let's pull back some of these alt arts until we see what the market does. Um, again, y'all, if you are not part of our Discord community, I'll make sure there's a link down below. Um, it's a If you're into finding the deals, our guys are all over it there. Um, we give all of our info for pop-up streams, for, for bundle breaks, all that stuff. All the heads up is there as well. But Hippopotas... Tropius and Lilligant. With that said, let's do a little last pack magic and uh, explain to y'all how to enter the May giveaway here. And we are going to end on a black code card, believe me or not. Zuelis, Xenia's Resolve, Copycat, Dino. This would have been from the C2210. Hoppip, Hitmonchan, Tentacool, and a regular Hollow. All right, y'all. Well, anytime you can pull a couple Evolution VMAXs paired with an alt art from Evolving Skies, it is a good day. The alt art, the alt art train continues. So with that said, this is our May members giveaway. To be eligible, we just ask that you are a basic baller time member or higher by May 30th. And we, as always, will be going live to do a last duck standing race uh do a couple of shorts again feel free to ping us on discord if you have any questions some of the other videos that we've popped up recently and talked about in this should be up there 